So the Knicks and the Pacers are going to go to game seven. And the Knicks hurt. John, uh, Josh Hart got hurt. Um, the problem is, is that the longer series goes, the more injuries occur for the Knicks. They already got a janky rotation. I mean, you know, you're asking Jalen Brunson to play at a he-man uh, higher level as it is. And he's happened to do so much just to keep that team afloat. It's going to be tough. I mean, game seven is going to take every ounce of them. They look like they just, you know, with Tibbs' way of coaching, it just runs everybody out. And so who's going to be available? How's it going to manifest? It's just not a good look right now. And it's not good. The Pacers are an, a, are one of those kind of teams that if they played smart with just posting up, they can really get easy buckets. But they tend to be so streaky. You know, don't play no defense. And they're so streaky. And I think New York is the better team. However, the Pacers got more weaponry. But again, it's like, oh, if you could combine the two. If you took the versatility of the Pacers and had Jalen Brunson as the front, they're coming out the East. You know, it's just one of them kind of situations. Because they, because I, I like I like Tyler Halliburton, but he ain't Jalen Brunson. And they don't quite have the depth. They got this talent behind. Pascal is what I know Pascal can be. He's a strong second front, high third, and he looks like a first. And you put him with someone who can, you know, be that alpha, it's a scary team. That's the problem that the Pacers are facing. But, you know, it's one of those kind of series. Does it merit a seven games? I don't think, I said it before, like Minnesota-Denver, that's a seven-game series, even though it's odd as all get out because of the beatdowns and how things have gone. This one is just comes down to like basically two flawed, what I call two flawed, high second tier teams, and it's just the will of the the will at the end of the day. Some people will think of it as a classic. I don't quite look at it as that because I don't really feel that neither one of these teams are championship worthy. But they but if they had another piece that stood out, then I would probably say so. But make no and the East is weak overall. But these two teams got a lot of, you know, they can definitely score. They can put points up. It's just I feel for Jalen Brunson because he don't really have that next person next to him. And Tibbs runs their bodies to the ground. On the other side, Pacers don't really have a front dude that stands out per se like that. And Rick Carlin don't emphasize defense. And they don't emphasize barbecue chicken, punishing them small guys and get easy buckets. Then you work it out because... They just don't play with consistency. And this series is just so all over the place. I mean, the parity in basketball nowadays is crazy. Used to be if a team waxed your butt by 30 or 40, that was a pretty much a sweep. Nowadays, these teams are like, it's like baseball it goes high and low, high and low and high and low. And it's really inconclusive. But anyway, that's my thoughts it takes about Indiana, New York will be a game seven. So see Spike Lee and Reggie Miller. <laughs> and the theatrics. Please do like, subscribe, work on thoughts, comments, and I do respond. Thank you. Wash your hands. Keep your mind clear. Watch out for another shitter if you like my piece.